Hey guys, I'm back, and in this video I have part two of my Batman villain minifigures. Um, so I did part one about a week ago, I think, maybe a little longer, and I, ju I did just post those Zootopia figures, by the way, if you like Zootopia, haven't seen the video, go check that out, please. But, uh, so this is part two of the Batman minifigures, and I do believe I said I would show the Penguin, Two-Face, Riddler, and Mad Hatter, so those are the ones I'm going to be showing. So I will start with the penguin. So there's a lot to see on this figure. I'm going to try and go through this as quick as possible. But uh, his hand, you can already see, is wrapped with a bandage. That's electrical tape. His coat, the whole black part of the coat, is also electrical tape. The collar and the little puffs around his uh, wrist are made of a cotton ball and then after it was glued in place, that is kept adding more and, and I glued it and it's still soft kind of, but it's pretty stiff because of the glue. Uh, the hat is from Brick Warriors and the brim of the hat is another piece of electrical tape wrapped around it. His head is an official penguin head with a new mouth, uh, added a line under the eye and then I made him a monocle out of a clear Lego rod piece. It's glued to his eye and it's 3D. And you can see the little chain painted down to go. And then his stomach, it's going to be hard to show this because the coat is no longer removable. Because uh, I had to glue it to his torso for it to stay in this shape. But you can see his stomach is sculpted to have a belly. And he also has some kind of man titty sculpted on there for lack of a better word. And his torso was painted to look like the Arkham Knight torso. He's got suspenders under there. And his legs are also short, um, kind of like my Nick Wilde if you saw the Zootopia video. His legs are similar to Nick Wilde's, where they are still poseable, but they are shorter than standard minifigure legs. And um, that's pretty much it for Penguin, but so I can show the difference between his height before I get rid of him. If I bring in the next figure, here's Two-Face. You can see Two-Face is slightly taller than Penguin because his legs are shorter. Now speaking of Two-Face, he is the next figure. So Two-Face was the first one out of all these DC Batman figures that I made, even before... Uh, besides like Batman who was the first actual villain so you can see his face which is the main part of him it was carved out with an exacto knife like I actually took half the head and just carved it off sanded it off you can see it's a lot thinner on this side and then what I did was I sculpted it back up with green stuff to kind of form the shape of his skull and his uh, his open his mouth with his teeth being revealed and actually I could probably take the head off and show this better. So you can see just this detail. The uh, he's given a couple washes. He was dry brushed, and you can see his teeth painted in there. He's got an eye socket. His eyes actually sculpted too, and it was pa I painted it yellow. I got rid of his pupil because I thought it looked cooler if he was didn't have a pupil. It looked more like the at like the burn affected him more. His hairpiece is a modded official hairpiece. It was just cut in half, quite literally. And then the transition from hair to, was sculpted out of green stuff. And then the rest of them is just a paint job. It's a white body, half painted black. All this was painted by me. The coin in his hand is cut from a Lego rod. It's a silver Lego rod and it was just cut to size and it sits in his hand. And everything else just painted. There's the back. But yeah, so pretty simple but one of one of the ones I like a lot. So next, I will bring in the Riddler. So the Riddler here is uh, pretty cool. So this is actually my own design. Most of, Both P Penguin and Two-Face are based off pretty generic designs with the Arkham games. This Riddler is actually a design I came up with myself. Uh, so the cane, first of all, it's all just made with a bunch of Lego pieces. Loki staff, this is a key. Here's a bit of a lightsaber. So this is just made of a bunch of random pieces. For him, for the Riddler himself, this is my own design. Uh, I gave him a vest, which was painted. This is all painted by me. His vest is olive green with a white undershirt. His arms were white arms. I painted this flesh here. His sleeve, rolled up sleeves, are electrical tape. His boots, his legs were dark green, and I painted the black boots. And this is electrical tape. His hands are purple. He's got a purple tie. And then this hat and hair combo was made by me. It, uh, there's a question mark on the back. He's got uh, his hair. If you take this off, this is one piece. 
you see was actually an orange hairpiece. And then his face is actually a Chris Pratt head. And I painted glasses onto it because I thought that worked well. For a smirking face with stubble because that's what I needed. So that's the face I went with. And that's it for Riddler pretty much. He's just a paint job. And then the last figure I have is Mad Hatter. Now Mad Hatter here was is one of my favorites of all of them that I've made out of all 20 of these Batman figures. Mad Hatter here is one of my favorite. So the main body, aka this coat and this hat, they're both from Brick Warriors. And this was one large molded piece and it was I modified it. It was a lot longer. So Mad Hatter is pretty short. If I bring in Riddler, stand him up next to him, you see Riddler's taller than him. So what I did was I took this Brick Warriors piece that came down to about here. This green coat was brown and it came down to about below the feet. It was long. And I cut it short and I sanded it down and then on the sides, the sides were open, so I covered it with electrical tape. And then I just painted it. And then I also sculpted his bow tie. So the only thing I made myself was the bow tie. Everything else was a Brick Warriors piece that I, gen I then painted. And then his cuffs of his jacket are electrical tape. And his hat is for Brick Warriors. And the little tag is also electrical tape. And I'm actually going to rush this video now because my camera is about to die. And I do not want to re-record this video. So let me get these all in here really quick so you can see them. So yeah, that's about it for this video. So sorry if this one was kind of rushed. I wasn't trying to rush until now when I see my cameras literally flashing as the battery's dying. So thank you for watching. Please check out part one. I will link it in the description as well. And uh, as always, like, comment, and subscribe for more. I will see you guys next time. In my next video, I will show four more figures. Don't know which ones yet, but stick around for part three. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.